Hi, my name is Michelle, and I'm going to show you how to install the Anki Cosmo SDK on a Windows computer with an iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone. To begin, you need a Cosmo robot, a Windows machine, his cubes, and an iOS device like iPhone or iPad. As our first step for installing the Cosmo SDK on Windows, um, from the developer.anki.com site, we're going to go to the Get Started page. From this page, um, we can see that there's installation pages for Windows and other systems. We're going to go to the uh, installation Windows link. And our first step is to install Python. We want to download the latest version of Python from python.org. An important step that we're going to need to look out for during installation is that we will need to tick the Add Python to Path checkbox on the setup screen on the first screen of the installer. I'm going to click the link from the Windows installation page to bring up the python.org download page. From the python.org download page, I want to download the latest version of Python. So I start the download. I save the file. The file's finished downloading, so I'm going to run it. The Python installer window shows on the screen. Before continuing with the install, it is important to tick the Add Python to Path checkbox, which is shown at the bottom of this first screen here. So I check the checkbox, and now I can click Install Now. Now Python's installed. Now that we've completed our Python installation, we can continue with the first step to um, actually getting the Cosmo SDK files on our computer. Under Python installation on the Windows install page, um, we have step uh, SDK installation. For this, first I need to bring up the command prompt. In the lower left-hand corner of the Windows desktop, I can search for command prompt. It's the first thing that shows up. I click on it so it'll show. And um, before I start using it, I'm going to pin it to my taskbar. That way, whenever I want to interact with the SDK, I can quickly um, bring up the command prompt from the taskbar. Now I'm going to run the pip3 install step. And it is pip3 install dash dash user Cosmo camera, just like it shows on the cosmosdk.anki.com site. You can also copy it and paste it into your command prompt. After I've entered the pip3 install line in the command prompt, I press return, which executes that command. And in the window, you should be able to immediately see that the Cosmo and Cosmo Clad packages are downloading to your computer. At the end, you'll want to see that you have successfully installed Cosmo, Cosmo Clad, and other packages, so we can begin to start using them. Now that we've finished our PIP3 install of the Cosmo and Cosmo Clad packages, we're going to continue to the mobile device setup. For iOS devices, we require iTunes to be installed. We have a link to iTunes in our documentation. Our iTunes link takes you to apple.com slash iTunes slash download. And from there, we can download iTunes. I'm going to download iTunes and save it to my computer. I'm going to run the setup exe. So a Windows installer says it's preparing to install, and now it says, welcome to iTunes. Uh, I'm going to run this installer. From the iTunes installation options page, you can click the install button. I'm going to click yes to allow this app to make changes to my device. And finally, I reach the iTunes congratulations screen. I click finish. 
I agree to the terms. I see iTunes opened up a welcome page for me. Now I'm done with the iTunes installation. Now we can proceed with the getting started with the Cosmo SDK page. First, I need to get the Cosmo app running on my iOS device. After I've started the Cosmo app, I need to connect my device to Cosmo. Next, I need to enable the SDK in the Cosmo app. So from the main menu, I'm gonna select the settings button, which is in the upper right corner. It's a little gear icon. I'm gonna to scroll to the right and select the enable SDK button. And this will bring you to a screen that's mostly black. At the bottom, there's a large green button in the center that says disable SDK. You can also see in the lower right corner, it says SDK not connected, but that's because we're not running any programs yet. So let's get the programs that we're gonna run on Cosmo. We can start by going to the downloads page and download the example programs. Now we want to get to the examples that we downloaded from the command prompt. I downloaded my examples to the downloads folder. So I'm gonna bring up a command prompt and navigate to that downloads folder and make sure that I can see the Cosmo SDK examples folder. Now that we've downloaded the Cosmo SDK examples from the website, let's extract the files. And take note of where you extracted the files to. I've extracted the files to my downloads folder, but you can extract them anywhere. Now we need to navigate to where we downloaded our SDK example programs. In our SDK examples folder, we can find a folder called tutorials. Let's move into that tutorials folder by typing CD for change directory space tutorials. And in there, if you type DIR, it'll show a file listing and we can see 01 underscore basics is the first folder that shows up. So next we'll type CD space 01 underscore basics to move into that 01 basics folder. Again, I'm gonna type DIR to see the file listing in there. And the first one that pops up is 01 underscore hello world dot py. So let's run the hello world program. I'm gonna type py space 01, and now I'm gonna use tab completion so that the rest of the file name is automatically filled out. It ends with 01 underscore hello world dot py. Now I'm gonna press enter to run the py 01 underscore hello world dot py command. So now we finish the Windows iOS setup. We hope you'll also check out our other SDK examples. Please head on over to developer.anki.com where you can check out our forums, ask any questions you have, check out other projects in the showcase and see detailed documentation. Thank you and we hope to see you again next time. <laughs>